Hello, and welcome to another Hexum tutorial. Today we're looking at Translate My Store, also known as TMS. But more specifically, we're looking at AI translation, which can be found right here, or on the sidebar right here. Let's jump in. First, we can see some tutorials and guides at the top. Next, in our AI translation, let's select our language. I'm going to go with Spanish and load our text. Here we can see how much each category is translated in Spanish. And now for the options. Let's say we updated some of our products, but we can't see the text in TMS yet. So we can click sync right here just for the products to get the updated text. Or if we just want to get all of the updated text for all of our Spanish, we could sync right here. If we wanted to immediately create an AI translation task that translates all of the untranslated text only, we could click translate now. But for our example today, let's go see what text we want to translate. Here on our store in our default language, English, we can see we have our navigation here, a home button, catalog button, and supplies button. So let's go ahead and switch this over to Spanish and change. And we can see that it didn't change. That's because we haven't translated it yet. So let's go back to our store and do that. We can go down to our navigation menu items and we could click translate now, but we're gonna go ahead and click configure to modify our AI translation. So our filter is showing our Spanish language, our navigation menu items, and the not translated text. We could change this to outdated and not translated or all, which will just show all of our text regardless of translation. So if we go down, we could see all of our menu items, home catalog, search, order, and supplies. And if we wanna see a preview of our AI translation, we can click that here. But let's just go ahead and start our AI translation. And let's wait for this to finish. And there we go, we can see our task finished. We translated five different items and five words in the items. It was an AI task. We could see some conditions here. We can also see some extra details as well as revert the entire task. So let's go into the details. Here we can see the original default text, the old translation, which was empty, and our new translation. Also, we can revert each element individually. So let's go back to our shop and see our translation. We're on Spanish here, and if we refresh, there we go, our navigation was updated. Well, that's about everything you need to know for AI translation. Thank you very much for watching, and please let us know if you have any questions.